So our solar system looks somewhat like this. It consists of the sun, the planets, the dwarf planets, satellites, meteorites, comets, asteroids and everything that goes around the sun. Let's go to one of the dwarf planets, Pluto. Pluto is extremely cold. Its average surface temperature is around minus 220 degrees Celsius. Now, this is because it's extremely far away from the sun and therefore it does not receive much of the sun's heat. And because it's so far away, it takes a really long time for it to go around the sun. It takes about 250 years. This means that if you lived on Pluto, you would celebrate your birthday once every 250 years. Pluto is also extremely tiny and that's why it's called a dwarf planet. In fact, it's so tiny that it's actually smaller than our own moon. An interesting fact about Pluto is that its orbit is slightly tilted, like this. It's not in the same plane as the rest of the planets. Now let's go to Neptune, the last planet from the Sun. Neptune is an ice giant. It's called an ice giant because it's predominantly made of ice and is huge. It's so big that you can actually fit about 60 Earths into it. To give you a better idea, if the Earth was the size of a pea, then Neptune would be the size of a ping pong ball. The dark blue clouds of Neptune are a complete mystery. No one really knows what they're made of. And also, because Neptune is so far away from the Sun, it takes about 164 years to complete an orbit. The planet we've reached right now is Uranus. Uranus is also an ice giant because it's also made of ice and its size is very similar to Neptune. If the Earth was the size of a bee, then Uranus would be the size of a golf ball, which is slightly bigger than a ping pong ball. Now, Uranus also has 27 moons. But I thought there is only one moon, our moon. Well, any naturally occurring object that goes around the planet is called the moon. The Earth has one such object which we call the moon and similarly Uranus has 27 such objects, therefore it has 27 moons. Now, the funny thing about Uranus is that it's the only planet that has an axis of rotation that is almost horizontal. And those blue clouds that you see, they are made of a gas called methane. Uranus is also the first planet to have been discovered using the telescope. I didn't know planets could spin like that. And one more thing, why are all these planets round? Well, it's because of gravity. Gravity pulls everything inward. And the larger a planet gets, the more gravity it has. So if you had a large planet that had a weird potato shape like this, all the extra mass will just get crushed by its own weight. And finally, it will become round. But there are smaller objects, like small moons and small rocks that go around the sun, that have less gravity and therefore can take weird shapes. If you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like these, hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy learning this way, download Baiju's, the all new and personalized learning app.